Peter Pan, the boy who cast no shadow and never grew up, looked around the room, his eyes filled with wonder. He wore clothes made of leaves and twigs, a testament to his life spent frolicking in the wild. In his hand, he clutched a small, dark object, Wendy's older brother's shadow. There you are, Tink, he exclaimed in a voice barely louder than a whisper. Have you found my shadow? Tinker Bell, after a startled pause at being surprised by Wendy, fluttered towards Peter and landed on his shoulder. She pointed a tiny finger towards Wendy, who sat wide-eyed on the bed. Peter, surprised to see a human awake, cautiously approached the bed. Wendy, her curiosity outweighing her fear, held out a hand. Hello, she whispered. Peter, hesitant at first, slowly reached out and shook her hand. Hello, he replied, his voice filled with a childlike wonder. You can see me? Wendy nodded, a smile playing on her lips. Of course. You're Peter Pan, aren't you? Peter's eyes widened. How do you know my name? Wendy explained how she had seen him peering through the window earlier and how she had watched Nana chase him away. She also told him about finding his lost shadow on the floor. Peter's face lit up with excitement. My shadow. Thank you. I can't believe you found it. He reached out and took the shadow from Wendy inspecting it closely. Suddenly, a muffled cry came from across the room. It was Michael, the youngest of the darling siblings, stirring in his sleep. Peter froze, his eyes darting nervously around the room. We have to be quiet, Wendy whispered, understanding his apprehension. My brothers are asleep. Peter nodded, his mischievous grin fading for a moment. He looked longingly at his shadow, then back at Wendy. I need to sew it back on, he said. Wendy, ever resourceful, pointed to her sewing basket on the bedside table. Here, she offered. You can use my needle and thread. Peter, grateful for her help, carefully sewed his shadow back onto his feet. As he worked, he told Wendy about Neverland, a magical island where he lived with a band of lost boys, boys who had run away from home and never wanted to grow up. Wendy listened, captivated by his stories of mermaids, pirates, and adventures in the skies. By the time he finished sewing, a new light was beginning to peek through the curtains, announcing the approach of dawn. I must go, Peter said, a tinge of sadness tinging his voice. But I promise I'll come back and take you all to Neverland. You can have adventures too. Wendy, her heart filled with a mixture of excitement and apprehension, looked at her sleeping brothers. Can we really go to Neverland? She asked. Peter grinned. Of course. All you have to do is believe in fairies and follow the second star to the right. With a mischievous wink, Peter blew a kiss towards Wendy, then flew out the window, his shadow dancing behind him. Tinker Bell, with a final flash of light, darted after him, leaving Wendy breathless and wide-eyed in the pale light of dawn. The question lingered in her mind, 
Would she believe in fairies and follow the second star to the right? Only time would tell if Wendy and her brothers would have the chance to experience the magic of Neverland.